இந்த பதிவு உங்களுக்கு பிடிச்சிருந்தா மறக்காம லைக் பண்ணுங்க ஷேர் பண்ணுங்க கமெண்ட் பண்ணுங்க சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணுங்க நன்றி வணக்கம் வாழ்க வையகத்தோர் கொஸ்ட் நம்பர் ஒன் தி ஸ்மாலஸ்ட் டிசீஸ் காசிங் ஏஜென்ட் இஸ் டேஷ் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் மேட் அப் ஆஃப் பிரியன்ஸ் ஆர் டிஸ்கவர்ட் பை ப்ரொசினர் இன் நைன்டீன் எயிட்டி டூ தே ஆர் தி ஸ்மாலஸ்ட் இன்ஃபெக்ஷியஸ் பார்ட்டிகல்ஸ் விச் டூ நாட் ஹவ் நியூக்ளிக் ஆசிட் பிரியன்ஸ் ஆர் மாடிஃபைடு ஹைட்ரோபோபிக் லைக்கோ ப்ரோட்டீன்ஸ் தட் ஆர் ரெசிஸ்டன்ட் டு ப்ரோட்டீஸ் ஆக்ஷன் கம்பேர்ட் வித் நார்மல் ப்ரோட்டீன்ஸ் தே ஃபங்க்ஷன் ஆஸ் இன்ஃபெக்ஷியஸ் ஏஜென்ட்ஸ் பிரியான்ஸ் சேஞ்ச் நார்மல் ப்ரோட்டீன்ஸ் டு அண்ட் இன்ஃபெக்ஷியஸ் ஃபார்ம் அண்ட் தே ஆர் ஃபவுண்ட் டு காஸ் டிசீஸ் இன் அனிமல்ஸ் அண்ட் நாட் இன் பிளான்ஸ் ஸோ த கரெக்ட் ஆப்ஷன் ஃபார் திஸ் கொஸ்டின் இஸ் பி தி ஸ்மாலஸ்ட் டிசீஸ் காசிங் ஏஜென்ட் இஸ் பிரியான்ஸ் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் மேட் அப் ஆஃப் ப்ரோட்டீன்ஸ் ஓன்லி கொஸ்ட் நம்பர் டூ செலக்ட் தி ஆட் ஒன் வித் ரெஸ்பெக்ட் டு கெமிக்கல் நேச்சர் ஆஃப் ஏ ஹார்மோன் chemically the hormone may be peptide polypeptide that is insulin steroid cortisol iodothyronine that is thyroid hormones or amino acid derivatives example epinephrine so here the answer for this question is option d question number 4 hormones which interact with the membrane bound receptors normally do not enter the target cells but generate second messenger these second messengers are referred to as second messengers are intracellular signaling molecules released by the cell in response to exposure to extracellular signaling molecules the first messengers examples of second messenger molecule include cyclic amp cyclic gmp inositol triphosphate glycerol and calcium so the answer for this question is all of the above hormones which interact with the membrane bound receptors normally do not enter the target cells but generate second messengers the second messengers are referred to as calcium ion and inositol 3 phosphate inositol 3 phosphate and c amp c amp and calcium ions so the answer for this question is all of the above question number 5 organisms called methanogens are most abundant in methanogens are orchi bacteria reside primarily in the rumen and lower segment of the intestines of ruminants where they utilize the reducing equivalents derived from rumen fermentation to reduce carbon dioxide formic acid or methyl amine to methane so the answer for this question is cattle yard or organisms called methanogens are most abundant in cattle yard question number 6 the alpha and beta cells are found in Hyalates of Langerhans is a endocrine part of pancreas which contain alpha cells beta cells and delta cells pancreatic arsenic cells secrete pancreatic enzyme the ducts carry these secretions so the answer for this question is option a hyalates of langerhans the alpha cells and the beta cells are found in hyalates of langerhans question number 7 select the option having the fungi which belong to the same class Rhizopus and Mucor are the members of Eicomyces, Aspergillus, Saccharomyces that is yeast, Marchella that is morals or Ascomyces fungi, Agaricus it is generally called as mushroom contain edible Basidiomyces fungi, Marchella commonly called as morals or edible Ascomyces fungi. So the answer for this question is option C, Marchella and Saccharomyces are the fungi which belong to same class. Question number 8 The structure that lies at the base of thalamus in the human brain is The thalamus hypothalamus and epithalamus form the diencephalon epithalamus form the root while the hypothalamus forms the floor of the diencephalon this structure is responsible for the synthesis of oxytocin so the answer for this question is option A the structure responsible for synthesis of oxytocin Question number 9 Identify the labeling A B and C this plasmid given below from the diagrammatic representation they asked to find out A B and C plasmids are extra chromosomal self replicating dna present in the cytoplasm of bacteria the given plasmid is pbr322 the most common vector used in genetic engineering is pbr322 is one of the standard cloning vector widely used in gene cloning experiments 
This vector has been required by inserting genes for antibiotic resistance. It is named after Bolivar and Rodskews who prepared the vector. So the correct answer for this question is option A. Uh, part A represent AMP resistance, part B represent tetracycline resistance and C represent ROP. So the correct option is A. Question number 10. The process of responding to peripheral nerve stimulation that occurs involuntarily is referred to as a reflex is defined as an involuntary, unlearned, repeatable, automatic reaction to a specific stimulus which does not require input from the brain. A reflex arc is made up of five components, a receptor, muscle spindle, an afferent fiber, muscle spindle afferent, an integration center, spinal cord, an afferent fiber, alpha motor neurons, an effector muscle. So the answer for this question is reflex action. So the correct option is A. Question number 11. The main role of bacteria in the carbon cycle involves bacteria are essential decomposers in nature. They play a vital role in the recycling of nutrients by causing the breakdown of dead organic matter. Thus they play a critical role in the carbon cycle. The most important bacterium involved in the carbon cycle is Pseudomonas denitrificans. So the answer for this question is option D. The main role of bacteria in carbon cycle involves digestion or breakdown of organic compounds. Question number 12. Joints which are fused end to end with the help of dense fibrous connective tissue are referred to as. Structures are fibrous joints present in the cranium. They are immovable joints. The four major structures are the coronal, sagittal, lemboid and squamous structures. They connect the frontal, parietal, temporal and occipital bones. The, the coronal suture joins the frontal bone to the parietal bones. The sagittal suture joins the two parietal bones together. So the answer for this question is suture's joints which are fused end to end with the help of dense fibrous connective tissue are referred to as suture's. So the correct option is A. Pyrenees is a gymnosperm because it the word gymnosperm is derived from Greek word gymno meaning naked and sperma meaning seed. Thus gymnosperms are naked seed bearing plants in which seeds are not present inside fruits as gymnosperms are non flowering plants in which ovules are born directly on megasporophyll thus ovules remain exposed before and after fertilization. So the answer for this question is option C. Pinus is a gymnosperm because it lacks ovary but possesses exposed ovules. So the correct option is C. Question number 14. The anatomical unit of muscle is myofibrils are assembled of repeated structures called sarcomeres that is the smallest functional unit of muscle fiber. However, a single muscle cell has many myofibrils is generally called as muscle fiber units. Each sarcomere is composed of actin, it is called as thin and myosin called as thick filaments arranged in the precise order and protein complexes that support the filament structures. So the answer for this question is muscle fibers. Anatomical unit of uh, muscle is that is muscle fiber. So the correct option is A. Question number 15. Identify the process involved recognizing label 1, 2 and 3. Here the diagrammatic representation is given from that they asked to identify the labeled structures. Transpiration is a physiological process that occurs in plants. It is a physiological process and occurs through the movement of water through the epidermis or stomata that happens by getting absorbed from the soil. So the answer for this question is option C. Transpiration process. The given diagram. The recognizing label 1, 2, 3 represent transpiration process. So the correct option for this question is option C. Question number 16. Ammonia, urea, uric acid, carbon dioxide, water and ions like sodium, potassium, chlorine, phosphates, sulfates etc. are 
Animals accumulate ammonia, urea, uric acid, carbon dioxide, water and ions like sodium, potassium, chlorine, phosphate, sulfate etc. either by metabolic activities or by other means, other means like excess ingestion. These substances have to be removed totally or partially. So the answer for this question is both A and B. Ammonia, urea, uric acid, carbon dioxide, water and ions like sodium, potassium, chlorine, phosphate, sulfate etc. are excretory substances and metabolic products. So the correct option for this question is option D. Question number 17. Identify X from the diagram given below. Mucellus is deployed nutritive tissue present in the ovule. It provides nutrition to developing embryo sac. Most ovules, mucellus is completely consumed during the development of embryo sac. In some ovules where the mucellus is abundant, it persists even after the development of embryo sac. These remains of mucellus are called as perisperm. Perisperm is absorbed in seeds of beet, coffee, etc. So the answer for this question is option B. So in the given diagram, X represent remnant of mucellus. It is always called in. Iron free compound of hemoglobin is. Hemoglobin is a conjugated protein which is made up of protein called globin and non-protein group called heme. Heme is an ion Fe2 plus porphyrin complex. A mammalian hemoglobin molecule is composed of four heme molecules with four globin molecules. So the answer for this question is option A. Iron free compound of hemoglobin is globin. Question number 19. In gymnosperms, the pollination is. In gymnosperms, pollination occurs by wind. Is generally called as anemopilus. During pollination, pollen grains land on the female cones near the micropylar region. The pollen grains are transferred directly to the ovule as the ovules are exposed directly to the surface. So the answer for this question is micropylar and anemopilus. In gymnosperms, the pollination is micropylar and anemopilus. So the correct option is A. Question number 20. The oxygen dissociation curve of hemoglobin is the relationship between the PO2 and the percentage saturation of hemoglobin when represented on gray is termed as oxyhemoglobin dissociation curve and it is sigmoid. It is uh, S shaped in shape. So the answer for this question is both A e and B. The oxygen dissociation curve of hemoglobin is Yes shaped and sigmoid shape. So the correct option is D. Question number 21. A process where the diploid cell of ovule outside the embryo sac developing into another embryo sac without reduction is known as. A process where the diploid cell of an ovule outside the embryo sac developing into another embryo sac without reduction is known as apospory. When diploid cell of new cells divide to form diploid embryo sac which contain diploid egg cell from which embryo develops without fertilization or gametic fusion then it is called apospory. This mechanism of seed formation without gametic fusion or fertilization is called apomixis. It is commonly present in the members of Asteraceae and grasses. So the answer for this question is option B. A process where the diploid cells and ovule outside the embryo sac developing into another embryo sac without reduction is known as apospory. Question number 22. A specialized center called respiratory rhythm center is primarily responsible for the regulation of respiration. It is located in medulla oblongata, the lower half of the brain or brainstem contains the cardiac, respiratory, vomiting and vasomotor centers and regulates autonomic voluntary functions such as breathing, heart rate and blood pressure. So the answer for this question is Option B, it is located on the lower part of the brain. Question number 23, what is not the incorrect sequence of propase 1 of meiosis? Pro propase 1 of meiosis is of longest duration and it is further subdivided into 5 subcategories such as leptotin, zygotin, pactin, diplotin and diakinesis. Leptotin shows bucket formation. The pairing of homologous chromosomes or synapses occurs during zygotin. 
crossing over occurs during pactin, chiasmata formation occurs during diplotin, and terminalization occurs during diakinesis. So the answer for this question is option D is not the incorrect sequence leptotin, zygotin, pactin, diplotin, diakinesis. So the correct option is D. 25. Which character marks the beginning of second, second phase of mitosis? The nuclear membrane disintegrates at the end of prophase and the disintegration of nuclear membrane marks the beginning of metaphase. In metaphase, chromosome starts moving towards the center of the cells and gets organized in one straight line to form metaphase plate. Spindle fiber attaches to the kinetochore of the each chromosome from each pole. So the answer for this question is option C. Which character marks the beginning of the second phase of mitosis is disintegration of nuclear envelope. Question number 26. What are the steps of endomembrane system? Cellular organelles that depend on each other for formation and functioning are the part of the endomembrane system. Organelles like endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi body, lysosome and vacuole are part of endomembrane system. Protein synthesis takes place are on rough endoplasmic reticulum. The endomembrane system performs its function through the following steps. The proteins and the lipids formed in the endoplasmic reticulum are first one is wrapped in a vesicle, drifted to Golgi, attached to cis Golgi, move through Golgi, exit trans Golgi in a new vesicle, drift to cell membrane, and finally exocytosis takes place. So the answer for this question is option A. The steps of endomembrane system is the protein and lipids get wrapped in a vesicle, dipped to Golgi, attached to cis Golgi, move through Golgi, exist trans Golgi in a new vesicle, drift to the cell membrane and exocytosis. So the correct option is A. Question number 27. A fleshy fold of tissues which extend down from Mons pubis and surrounded vaginal orifice is Majora is a prominent pair of cutaneous skin folds that forms the lateral longitudinal borders of the vulval clefts. The labia majora forms the folds that cover the fabia minora. So the answer for this question is labia majora. Option B. Question number 28. Read the following four statements. From that, how many of the above statements are correct? Statement 1. Every chromosome essentially has a primary construction or the centromere. Statement 1 is correct. Statement 2. During different stages of cell division, cells show structured chromosomes in place of the nucleus. So second statement also correct. Third statement. Nuclear pores are the passages through which the movement of RNA and protein takes place in one direction between the nucleus and the cytoplasm. This statement is wrong. Statement 4. Chromatin contains DNA some basic proteins called histones and RNA only. So fourth statement also wrongly given. So out of four statements, uh, two statements are correct. Statement one and two. So the correct option is C. Question number 29. An inverted pear shaped organ attached to the pelvic wall involved in the reproduction is. The uterus is a female reproductive organ located between the bladder and rectum in the pelvic area. It is an inverted pear shaped structure. The uterus is connected to the fallopian tubes, the cervix and vagina. The main purpose of uterus is to nourish fetus prior to birth. In menstruating females, the ovaries release eggs that travel via the fallopian tubes to the uterus. If fertilized, the egg bind themselves to the walls of the uterus and the fetus develops. So the answer for this question is both A and B worm and uterus. The inverted pear shaped organ attached to pelvic wall involved in the reproduction is both A and B. Question number 30. Shape of the cell may be depending on. Different cells have different shapes. The shape of the cell is variable and it is depend on the functions performed by the cell. So the answer for this question is option D. Form. Option D. Question number 31. Identify the structures labeled as A and B. 
from the given diagrammatic representation. The spermatogonia in singular it is generally called as spermatogonium are present on the inside wall of seminiferous tubules and they increase in number by mitotic divisions. Each spermatogonium is diploid and contain 46 chromosomes. Some spermatogonia are called primary spermatocytes which undergo meiotic divisions. They form second spermatocytes which divide meiotically and give rise to haploid spermatids. They transform into spermatozoa. It is generally called as sperms by the process called spermatogenesis. So the answer for this question is option D. A labeled spermatogonia, B labeled as spermatozoa. So the correct option is D. Question number 32. Which one of the following statements pertaining to the plant structure is correct? CO tube elements possesses a cytoplasm but lock nucleus at maturity. This metabolically, metabolic activities are regulated by the nucleus of closely associated cell called companion cells. So the answer for this question is option D. CO tube elements possess a cytoplasm but no nuclei. So this statement is pertaining to the plant structure is correct. Question number 33. The old tube developed by CDRI has lesser side effect because it oral administration of small doses of either progesterones or progesterone estrogen combination is another contraceptive method used by the females. They inhibit ovulation and implantation as well as alter the quality of cervical mucus to prevent the entry of sperms. Pills are very effective with lesser side effects and are well accepted by the females. Saheli, a new oral contraceptive for the females, contain a non-steroid preparation. It is once a week pill with very few side effects and high contraceptive value. So the answer for this question is option A, contain non-steroidal preparation. The oral contraceptive developed by CDRA has lesser side effect because it contains a non-steroidal preparation. So the correct option is A. Question number 34. When a meristematic tissue called cambium is present inside a vascular bundle, the bundle said to be. The vascular bundles having cambium in between xylem and phloem are called open bundles. Due to cambium, secondary growth is possible. The vascular bundles which lack cambium are called closed bundles. Open bundles occurs in dicards and closed bundles occurs in monocard. So the answer for this question is open. The cambium is present in between xylem and phloem. Such type of vascular bundles are called as open vascular bundles. Question number 35. Barrier methods are made of rubber. Diaphragms, cervical caps and walls. These are made of rubber that are inserted into the female reproductive tract to cover the cervix during coitus. So the answer for this question is option A. Cervical cap. Question number 36. Which of the following is not correct with respect to binomial nomenclature? Biologists follow universally accepted principles to provide scientific names to known organisms. Each name has two components, the generic name and specific epithet. This system of providing a name with two components is called as binomial nomenclature. The first word in biological name represents the genus while the second name of the component denotes the specific epithet. So the answer for this question is option D. The first, first word in a biological name represents the specific epithet while the second component denotes the genus. So this statement is wrongly given. Question number 37. A person injured in a road accident requiring an urgent immune response was brought to the doctor. The doctor immediately gave an ATS injection. What type of immunity was provided to the patient? Passive immunity is a kind of immunity in which ready-made antibodies, it is generally called as gamma globulins, obtained from human or animal serum are injected into the human body to provide an immediate immune response. Road accidents are accompanied with the broken skin and foot, which urges doctor to prescribe anti-tetanus injection. It is generally called as ATS, stand for anti-tetanus serum, which form officially acquired passive immunity. 
So the answer for this question is option D. Artificially required passive immunity. So the correct option is D. Question number 38. What is the function of rich protein layer found in euglena instead of cell wall? Euglenoids are freshwater organisms instead of cell wall. They have protein rich layer called pellicle which makes their body flexible. They have two flagella, a short and a long one. Though they are photosynthetic in the presence of sunlight, when deprived of sunlight, they behave like heterotrophs by predating on the other smaller organisms. So the answer for this question is, it contributes to flexibility. So the correct option is C. Question number 39. Choose the incorrect match with respect to disorder and other associated clinical condition. Here there are four different types of disorders are given. Ischemic heart disease is a characterized by discomfort and chest pain due to the lack of blood supply to the heart. Especially the times of excitement or exertion when the heart requires a greater amount of blood. So the answer for this question is option D. So among the given four disorders, the incorrect one is option D. Question number 40. Statement 1. The megaspore mother cell divides mitotically to produce four spores. Statement 2. Megaspore mother cells are deployed and megaspore is haploid. Megaspore mother cell is a prominent cell in the new cellus. It divides by meiosis and forms a row of four haploid megaspores. So, from the given two statements, statement 1 is wrong but the statement 2 is true. So, the correct option is option D. Statement 1 is wrong but the statement 2 is true. Question number 41. Cannabinoid receptors are principally present in THC. THC, tetrahydrocannabinol, acting through cannabinoid receptors also activates the brain's reward system. THC stimulates neurons in the reward system to release the signaling chemical dopamine at the levels higher than those typically absorbed in the response to neural stimuli. So the answer for this question is brain. Cannabinoid receptors are principally present in brain. So the correct option is A. Question number 42. If the diploid chromosome number in a flowering plant is 12, then which one of the following will have only 6 chromosomes? Synergies are formed by megaspore, which is a haploid structure. Thus, synergies are haploid and possesses 6 chromosomes. From the given 4 structures, synergies contain 6 chromosomes. So, the correct answer is option D. Question number 43. The change of frequently of alleles in a population would result in according to hardy weinberg equilibrium any change in the frequency of allele from one generation to another generation is known as evolution in other words deviation from hardy weinberg equilibrium is evolution so the answer for this question is option a the change from frequency of alleles in population would result evolution question number 44 how many of the following statement is incorrect? Here there are three statements. The most common type of endosperm development, the, the primary endosperm nucleus undergoes successive nuclear division to give rise to free nuclei. This stage of endosperm development is called free nuclear endosperm. Is cellular type of common type of endosperm development. The primary endospermic nucleus undergoes successive nuclear divisions to give rise to free nuclei. This stage of endosperm development is called free nuclear endosperm. In cellular type of endosperm absorbed in capsella, it is generally it belongs to Brassicaceae family. Karyokinesis is followed by cytokinesis forming solid cellular endosperm. In coconut, nuclear endosperm is formed in which karyokinesis is not followed by cytokinesis initially. Thus, liquid nuclear endosperm is formed. So, the answer for this question is option B. From the given I, a more ape like form was absorbed in dash, while dash was more man like. About 50 million years ago, primates called Dryopithecus and Rompithecus. 
existed. They were hairy and walked live gorilla and chimpanzees. So the answer for this question is option A. A more ape-like form was observed in Dryopithecus, while Rhombothecus was more man-like. Number forty-six. New cellular embryo is substitution of unusual sexual reproduction by a form of reproduction which does not include meiosis and syngamy is called apomixis. In this phenomenon, embryo is developed by some other tissues without fertilization. Example: new cells or integuments or unfertilized egg. New cells is a diploid tissue, so the new cellular embryo is apomictic diploid. Answer for this question is option B: apomictic diploid. Question number forty-seven. The size of the brain of Neanderthal is about the Neanderthal man with a brain size of thousand four hundred cc. Lived in the Near East and Central Asia between one lakh to forty thousand years back. They were used hides to protect their body and buried dead bodies. So the answer for this question is option A, thousand four hundred CC. Question number forty-eight. The period of viability in seeds vary from species to species. Which of the following plant has seeds with highest recorded period of viability? highest recorded period of viability there are several records of very old yet viable seeds the oldest is that of lupin lupinus articus excavated from arctic tundra the seed germinated and flowered after an estimated record of 10000 years of dormancy a recent record 2000 years old viable seeds is of the date palm ponix dactylifera discovered during the archaeological excavation at King Harold Palace near the Dead Sea. So the answer for this question is Lupinus orticus. Option D. Question number forty-nine. Which of the statement above breeding wrong? Here there are four statements are given. Continuous breeding, especially close inbreeding, reduce fertility and productivity. This is called inbreeding depression. So the incorrect statement is option B. Continued inbreeding, especially close inbreeding, increase fertility and productivity. This statement is wrongly given. Actually, continued breeding, especially close inbreeding, decrease fertility and productivity. Question number fifty: Which of the following groups of plants are propagated through underground root? Reproductive roots are adventitious roots, which are generally fleshy and develop adventitious buds. Example: sweet potato, dahlia, asparagus, tapioca, etc. So the following group of plants are propagated through underground root: sweet potato, asparagus, tapioca, and dahlia. So the correct option is D. Question number fifty-one. Arrange the following structures according to their decreasing number: hepatic cacae are six to eight blind tubules present at the junction of foregut and midgut. At the junction of midgut and hindgut. 100 to 150 yellow colored thin filamentous small pigeon tubules are present each compound eye of cockroach consists of about 2000 hexagonal omatida so the answer for this question is option b omatida small pigeon tubule hepatic cacae question number 52 if your double stranded dna has 30% of guanine what will be the percentage of adenine and thymine base pairs If your double stranded DNA consists of 30% guanine, then according to Chagas' rule, cytosine is also 30%. The remaining 40% includes adenine and thymine base pairs. So the answer for this question is option C, 40%. Question number 53. How many of the following substances given in the list below secreted by exocrine glands? On the basis of the mode of pouring of their secretions, glands are divided into two categories, namely exocrine and endocrine glands. Exocrine glands secrete mucus, saliva, earwax, oil, milk, digestive enzymes, and other cell products. These products are released through ducts or tubes. In contrast, endocrine glands do not have ducts. Their products called hormones are secreted directly into their fluid bathing glands. In the given list, insulin. Follicle stimulating hormone and thyroxine are hormones. The remaining are exocrine glands. So totally there are five exocrine glands are given. So the correct option is A. Question number fifty-four. 
when a phosphate group is linked to 5 OH of deoxyadenosine by phosphodiester linkage. A corresponding nucleotide is formed which is Nucleotide is a combination of nucleoside and phosphate group. When deoxyribosugar attaches to adenine nucleotide, deoxyadenosine is formed. When phosphate attaches to 5 OH of deoxyadenosine, then the corresponding nucleotide called deoxyadenylic acid is formed. So the answer for this question is deoxyadenylic acid. Option D. Question number 55. Comb plates for locomotion are found in Tenopos are characterized by 8 rows of cilia which are used for locomotion. The cilia in each row are arranged to form stack of combs also called comb plates. Thus the name Tenopora comes from Greek word meaning comb bearer. So the answer for this question is option C. Tenopora comb plates for locomotion are found in Tenopos. Question number 56. Which of the following is incorrect about nucleosome? Yeah. The nucleosome chain represents beads on string like structure when viewed under electron microscope. This chromatin undergoes further coiling to form chromatin fibers. This chromatin fibers undergoes further coiling to form chromosomes, which are distinctly visible during metaphase of cell division. So, the answer for this question is option D. So, from the given four statements, Statement D is given wrongly. The nucleosome in chromatin are seen as beads on string structure when viewed under light microscope. Question number 57. Which of the following organism is not radially symmetrical? Radial symmetry. A radial animal has top and bottom but has no head or rear end and no left or right. Examples of animals possessing radial symmetry are Nidaria, Tenopora and Echnodermata. So the answer for this question is Pila. Pila is the organism is not radially symmetrical. So the answer for this question is option A. Question number 58. To determine the type of organic compounds found in the living organisms, the living tissue is ground in. To determine the type of organic matter present in living tissue is grinded in trichloroacetic acid. The slurry thus obtained is filtered to obtain acid soluble pool which passes through the filter and acid insoluble pool which retained. The acid soluble pool contains the micromolecules and the acid insoluble pool contains the macromolecules. So the answer for this question is option A. Trichloroacetic acid. Question number 59. Which of the following is present in maximum percentage in living matter? Oxygen is most abundant element present in living tissue. In human body, it forms 65.5%. It is the main component of all biomolecules such as carbohydrate, proteins, fats and nucleic acid. So the answer for this question is option C, oxygen. Question number 60. Which of the following nitrogenous waste is excreted in the form of pellets or paste? The excretion of uric acid as a nitrogenous waste is way to preserve water in body and minimize loss of water in urine. Therefore, animals which survive in water stress conditions excrete in their nitrogenous waste as uric acid to prevent water loss. So the answer for this question is all of the above. Reptiles and birds, snails and insects, insects and birds. All of the following uh, nitrogenous waste is excreted in the form of pellets or paste. So the correct option is D. So number 61. How does an enzyme catalyze a reaction? The enzyme catalyzes a reaction by lowering down the activation of energy of the reaction so that the reaction can occur at normal cellular conditions. Activation energy is lowered by using binding energy which is released when the substrate binds to active site of the enzyme to form enzyme substrate complex. Thus, enzyme substrate complex formation is very much necessary for enzyme catalyzed reactions to occur. So the answer for this question is option B by decreasing activation energy of the reaction. So the correct option is B. Question number 62. By an angiogram it was analyzed that there is a restriction to flow of blood in the blood vessels. Which of the following disease can arise due to such medical conditions? Coronary artery disease. It is generally called as CAD. 
It is often referred to as atherosclerosis. It affects the vessels that supply blood to the heart muscles. In this condition, the lumen of arteries gradually becomes narrower due to the deposition of calcium, fat, cholesterol and fibrous tissues. Then another one is angina. It is always called as angina pectoris because of insufficient blood supply to heart muscles. A symptom of acute chest pain appears indicating decreased availability of oxygen to heart muscles. It can occur in both the sexes at any age but it occurrence increases with age. So the answer for this question is option A. Angina pectoris and coronary artery disease. The correct option is A. Question number 63. Which of the following fruit develops from the monocarpillary or multicarpillary syncarpous ovary and forms a single fruit? When a single fruit develops from a single flower having one or many syncarpous ovaries, it is called as simple fruit. It can dry or fleshy depending upon the nature, the nature of fruit wall called as pericarp. So, answer for this question is option A. Simple fruit. Question number 64. Which of the following is not a medicinal plant? Muliati it is uh, generally called as Glycerizae, a member of Fabaceae. Aloe vera, a member of Liliaceae family. And the Belladonna, it is Otropa Belladonna, a member of Solanaceae family are all medicinal plants. Indigofera, commonly called as Nile, is used to obtain dye. So, the answer for this question is option D. Indigofera. Question number 65. Which of the following statement is incorrect? Here there are four statements are given. From that has to find out incorrect statement. In the alternate type of pillow taxi, a single leaf arises at each node in an alternate manner. As in China rose, mustard and sunflower plants. If more than two leaves arise at node and the form a whole, it is called hold as in alsonia. So, the answer for this question is option B. That is the incorrect statement. If more than two leaves arise at node and form a whole, it is called a hold as in mustard. So, the statement, this statement is wrongly given. Question number 66. In monocotyledon seed, the outermost layer of endosperm is called. The outermost layer of endosperm of monocot seed is called as alluron layer. It consists of enzymatic proteins which help in breakdown of stored food and supply it to the embryo during germination of seed. Ploidy of cells of alluron layer is in triploid. So the answer for this question option A alluron layer. Question number 67. A balance rule. Mammals from cold climate have short hairs and short limbs to minimize heat loss. Extremize like hairs and limbs are reduced to decrease the area for heat loss. So the answer for this question is option B. According to Hallen's rule, the mammals from cold climate have shorter hairs and shorter limbs. Question number 68. If a superior competitor is removed from the area, there is always an increased population of the otherwise exploited species. This phenomena is called according to according to Connell's elegant field experiment. In the intertidal area of Scotland, Barnacal is uh, Barnacal balanus is a competitively superior species and predominate in the area, and Barnacal catamalus is a competitively inferior species and it is confined to narrow zone in the area. Removal of superior, superior or balanus lead to the rapid rise in the population of inferior catamalus. This is called competitive release. Answer for this question is option B. Competitive release. Question number 71. Which of the following is incorrect about the experiment performed by T. W. Engelman? Here there are four statements are given. T. W. Engelman experimented on cladopora. He illuminated cladopora with white light after passing through a prism. He used aerobic bacteria to detect the oxygen evolution site and observed that the maximum bacteria accumulated in the blue and red region of the spectrum, indicating that the maximum photosynthesis occurs in this region. So the incorrect statement is C. The bacteria accumulated mainly in the region of orange and green parts of the light spectrum. This statement is wrongly given. 
actually the bacteria accumulate in the region of blue and red region question number 72 find out the incorrect statement from the following here there are four statements are given here also has to find out incorrect statement division of labor occurs in the chloroplast in grana light reaction occurs with atp and nadph2 are synthesized which are used in dark reaction to reduce carbon dioxide to glucose all enzymes of the calvin cycle are present in the stroma region so the answer is option d there is no division of labor in chloroplast the statement is wrongly given question number 73 which of the following reaction involves substrate level phosphorylation atp is synthesized in a reaction when phosphoenol pyruvic acid is converted to pyruvic acid this direct synthesis of atp is called transphosphorylation substrate level phosphorylation so the answer for this question is option c phosphoenol pyruvic acid to pyruvic acid is the reaction involves substrate level phosphorylation question number 74 in an electron transport chain the cytochrome which donate electron to oxygen is cytochrome a3 is the terminal cytochrome of electron transport chain it has fe plus 3 and copper plus 2 both with fe it picks up electrons and through copper it passes electrons to oxygen so the correct option is option c cytochrome a3 in an electron transport chain the cytochrome a3 which donate electrons to oxygen question number 75 experiment was performed to test the effect of oxygen on the plant growth five plant seedlings that is all growing actively were prepared as below they were uh, unilaminated and growth was measured after 10 days plant a tip not removed nothing applied plant b tip removed nothing applied plant c tip removed gelatin block with cytokinin was placed on the cut edge plant d tip removed gelatin block with auxin placed on the cut edge from the above statements which of the following plant would show curvature after the above treatment auxin is the plant hormone that is synthesized in young stem apex during daytime auxin redistribution occurs such that the plant side directly exposed to sunlight contains lower oxygen concentration than the other side which is not exposed to light this unequal distribution causes curvature in plant a redistribution of auxin leads to curvature whereas removal of tips in plants b leads to no auxin synthesis and no curvature however in plant d where gelatin box with auxin is placed due to auxin redistribution the curvature is absorbed so the answer for this question is option b a and d from the given in the below diagrams a and b are initial areas of leaves a and b are areas of leaves after growth which of the following is correct here there are four statements are given based on the given diagram quantitative comparisons between the growth of living system can also be made in two ways measurement and the comparison of total growth per unit time is called as absolute growth rate the growth of given system per unit time exposed on a common basis example per unit initial parameter is called as relative growth rate here absolute growth absolute growth of leaf a to a is 2.5 cm whereas that the leaf b to b is 10 cm square hence the absolute growth is different since 2.5 is 25% of 10 there is a total 25% increase in growth in leaf a and in leaf b 10 is 25% of 40 so there is also 25% increase in growth is the relative growth of two leaves in the same that is 25% so the answer for this question is option c absolute growth is different but the relative growth is the same question number 77 conversion of milk to curd improves its nutritional value by increasing the amount of conversion of milk to curd is done by lactobacillus 
which causes coagulation of milk and partial digestion of milk protein casein it adds vitamin b12 and increases the nutritional quality of curd curd is also useful in controlling the growth of other diseases causing microbes in the stomach so the answer for this question is option b vitamin b12 question number 78 the process of recovery and purification of expressed biological product is called after completion of the biosynthetic stage the product has to be subjected through a series of process before it is ready for manufacturing as a finished product the processes including separation and purification which are referred to as downstream processing so the answer for this question is option a downstream processing is the product the following features belong to which syndrome here uh, the down syndrome is a chromosomal disorder the cause of this genetic disorder is the presence of an additional copy of the chromosomal number 21 is a trisomy of 21 this disorder was first described by langdon down so the answer for this question is option a down syndrome belongs to down syndrome so the correct option is a question number 80 find out the total number of mendelian disorders from the following cystic fibrosis hemophilia sickle cell anemia color blindness thalassemia penile cutaneuria cystic fibrosis which are determined by the alternation or mutation in single gene these disorders are transmitted to the offspring on the same lines as principles of inheritance so the answer for this question is 6 there are the 6 number of mendelian disorders from the following question number 81 a deceased man marries a normal woman they have three daughters and five sons all the daughters were deceased and sons were normal the gene of this disease is sex linked disorder follows criss cross inheritance pattern which an affected father passes it on to the daughters the daughters receives one of the x chromosome from the fathers so the answer for this question is option a sex linked dominant chromosomes question number 82 analyze the pedigree chart that is given below and select the correct option here they are given pedigree shows the inheritance of conditions such as penile cutaneuria as an autosomal recessive trait since the pattern are normal and children are affected the disease is in recessive form in first generation both males and females are equally affected since the disease is recessive for girls to be affected by an unaffected father the disease has to be autosomal recessive so the answer for this question is option b the inheritance of conditions like penile cutaneuria as an autosomal recessive trait the pedigree chart that is given below is the inheritance of the conditions like penile cutaneuria as an autosomal recessive trait name the blank spaces a b c and d from the table given below here there are three columns are given from that has to find out a b c a microbes are used for commercial and industrial production of organic acids such as lactic acid lactic acid is produced by the bacterium lactobacillus so a filled with lactobacillus b cyclosporin is new antifungal antibiotic produced commercially by the fungus trichoderma polysporum it is used as an immunosuppressant agent in organ transplant patient so b is filling with trichoderma and produced by the yeast Monoscus purpureus have been commercialized as a blood cholesterol lowering agent they act by competitively inhibiting the enzyme responsible for the synthesis of cholesterol d penicillin was the first antibiotic that was uh, discovered by alexander fleming it was found to be produced by the mold penicillium notatum so the correctly matching one is option b 
A represent lactobacillus, B represent trichoderma polysporum, C represent yeast, D represent penicillin. Question number 84. An individual homozygous for genes small c d is crossed with wild type and f1 crossed back with the double recessive. The appearance of the offspring as it follows. Option D. 10 map units. The distance between the gene c and d is 10 map units. Question number 85. Which of the following represents the step involved in developing genetically modified organisms. Here there are uh, three organism, yeah, specific desired gene needs to be isolated. This, this desired gene should be introduced in a specific host cell when it can multiply and get transferred to all the progeny cells. So the answer for this question is all the above statements are uh, involved in developing genetically modified organisms. So the correct option is D. Question number 86. The fragmented DNA can be visualized by staining DNA with. In gel electroporosis, the fragmented DNA can be visualized only after staining the DNA with a compound known as ethium bromide followed by exposure to UV radiation as pure DNA fragments cannot be seen in visible light without staining. So the name of the stain that can be used, ethium bromide. So the correct option is B. Question number 87. Statement 1. Recombinant DNA technology has been less effective in therapeutic drug production. Statement 2. Recombinant therapeutics induce unwanted humanological responses. The recombinant DNA technology has been very effective in therapeutic drug production, removing most of the unwanted humanological responses. So the answer for this question is both the statements are incorrect. Statement 1 and Statement 2. Both are wrongly given. Question number 88. Which group of vertebrates comprises the highest number of endangered species? The grim scenario of extinction is the fact that more than 15,500 species worldwide are facing the threat of extinction. Presently, 12% of all bird species 23% of all mammal species, 32% of all amphibian species and 31% of all gymnosperm species in the world face their threat of extinction. So the answer for this question is mammals are the group of vertebrates comprises the highest number of endangered species. So the correct option is B. Question number 89. In the World Summit on Sustainable Development held in 2002 in Johannesburg, South Africa. How many countries pledged their commitment to achieve the significant reduction in their current rate of biodiversity loss at global regions uh, close by 2010? The Historic Convention on Biological Diversity, it is generally called as the Earth Summit held in Rio de Janeiro in 1992 called upon all nations to take appropriate measures for conservation of biodiversity and sustainable utilization of its benefits. In a follow-up, the World Summit on Sustainable Development held in the year of 2002 in Johannesburg, South Africa, 190 countries pledged their commitments to achieve a significant reduction in their current rate of biodiversity loss at global, regional and local levels by 2010. So, there are Totally 190 countries have taken fledge. So the correct option is C. Question number 90 is the last question. Read the following statements carefully. Here there are four statements are given. From the four statements, which of the two above statements are correct? Pyramid of energy is always upright and can never be inverted because when the energy flows from a particular tropic level to the next tropic level, some energy is always lost as heat at each step. Additionally, energy at a lower tropical level is always more than at a higher level. Detrivores, example earthworm, breakdown detrits into smaller particles. This process is called fragmentation. Bacterial and fungal enzymes degrade detritus into simpler inorganic substances. This process called catabolism. So the 
there are two statements are given correctly statement 1 and 4 thank you very much for listening our videos all the best